assalamu alaikum friends uh, in this short video we shall see the overall uh, concepts workflow and the sub modules in the sap controlling application which is highly integrated with the financial accounting application so uh, simply the data flows from various functional modules like uh, materials management sales and distribution hcm and other modules to financial accounting module and from the financial accounting module the data flows to the controlling module through the first sub modules in controlling so the first sub module in controlling is actually cost element accounting right so this is the interface between the financial accounting and the controlling modules because the data flows from the financial accounting module to the controlling module through this interface which is the cost element accounting then various expenses uh, actually flow to the other controlling modules which is the cost center accounting which is the department wise budgeting and department wise costing or activity based costing which is activity wise budgeting and activity wise costing or internal orders and or internal orders depending on the circumstances which is actually a sort of a sub cost center event based cost centers so this is all about the overhead expenses so all the overhead expenses flow from financial accounting to controlling module through cost element accounting and eventually go to either the various departments or various even based cost objects which is the internal orders or various activities so the collection of all these three sub modules is known as the overhead management so you will see the abbreviation co controlling om overhead management and then cca cost center accounting oba internal orders and abc activity based costing so from here on uh, the data flows to the fourth sub module in controlling which is the product cost controlling here we actually cost the product so the first three departments are actually relevant for the trading concerns or manufacturing concerns all of them but the production cost controlling product cost controlling is only relevant for a manufacturing concern and then the remaining two modules are actually the for the analytical purposes uh, which is the profit center accounting and profitability analysis so one of them is actually based on the organization structure of the organization which is profit center accounting so an organization can have different profit centers which earn revenues and which incur expenses so they have their own profits so analysis based on these organization structure objects is actually profit center accounting the profitability analysis is actually analysis based on analysis of cost and revenues and profits based on some external objects like segments market segments countries or things like that one more thing uh, to note is that uh, in sap erp which was the earlier version of sap erp uh, there were two different data uh, repositories uh, logical data uh, spaces where the data was actually residing for the financial accounting and controlling so the function of the cost element accounting was actually uh, facilitate this data transfer and uh, make sure that the data is reconciled between the two modules but in sap aspohana the new newer version of sap erp there is just one data repository one logical space where the data resides and this is the same data for both financial accounting and financio therefore the cost element accounting is no longer a required document required module in sap but uh, for the sake of compatibility with the earlier vocabulary sap has still used this uh, cost element accounting and all the relevant manuals and reports into its uh, new interfaces as well so uh, one more thing which uh, i think everybody familiar with the controlling module knows that only those data flows from the financial accounting to the controlling module that is either the expense data or the revenue data so the assets and liabilities do not uh, are actually forwarded to the controlling module so the controlling module only deals with the expenses and revenues now in the next video we shall see uh, what are these individual modules actually do uh, and how they are useful thank you